Hey, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I want to talk about multi-language sites and specifically about the href lang tag. And I will explain everything that you need to know about the tag. So let's jump right in. Let's imagine we have our own website magia.com here. We are serving two audiences, the ones that are speaking English and the ones that are speaking German. And we have two different versions of the website because both of these groups, we want to serve them with the best content and also with customized content for their language. So now the question comes up, how does Google actually know which websites to show? And also how do the browsers that you are using know how uh, to show the right website. And we are using something that is called hreflang. It's an HTML attribute, so something that is in your source code that contains important information about the language and the geographic targeting of a website. So basically, it has all the informations that we need to show the user the right version. And it looks something like this here. So it's something in your source code, and I will talk about how it specifically looks in the next slide. So. The example from our own website looks like this. We have three tags here. So the first one is the href lang tag with the default state. The default state means whenever the search engine or the browser doesn't know which specific version to show, they will show this one. And in our case, it's the English version of the website. Makes the most sense because most people speak English. Second up, it's the English version of the website. So here we specifically state everyone that has English as their language settings, please show them this version of the website. And then last but not least, the German version, everyone that has the German language settings, please show this magia.com slash DE. It's important to understand that whenever you are using href lang text, you need to reference all locals. So imagine we are on the main page here. As we can see, we are referencing ourselves, so the main page, we are referencing the default state, and we are referencing this identical version of the page on our German um, part of the website. And this is super, super important that you get this right, because otherwise all of these href lang tags won't work and Google and search engines won't know which is the right version. So let's imagine we also have a French version, then that means we need to have the German href lang tag, the English href lang tag, the French href lang tag, and the default href lang tags. Okay, let's talk about language and region. So in our example, we were mainly focusing on the language, so English and German. But obviously, you can also have the case where you have one language, but different regions and different content per region. So for example, German is speaking in uh, Germany, in Austria, and Switzerland. And let's imagine we have a blog article that mentions supermarkets, and we want to customize it to the Austrian region and we want to mention all these Austrian supermarket names instead of the German ones, we can have an article that clearly has this and then we can specify in the href lang text, hey, this is the same language, German, but if someone from the region, Austria, is trying to use the website, please point them to this article. Now you will ask yourself, how can I actually implement these href lang texts? So there are a couple of ways to do it. First of all, if you are hard coding your website, that means you can just put it in the code as you like. Most of the people will probably use a CMS like WordPress or Webflow. There are plugins for WordPress and in Webflow, it's super, super easy if you use the localization feature so you can define the ISO code. So the thing that I just showed you before, this one here, and you can also define the URL and you can define also if a visitor should be routed to the right version of the website. So if I would come to the website from Germany, I will be routed exactly into the German side, uh, German part of the website right away. And yeah, in, Word, in Webflow, it's super, super easy to do that. Another thing that I wanted to mention, how do you actually test if your implementation is right? You can use testing tools like app.hreflang.org. You can just throw in your URLs and then you can see if the test results are okay. And also one important thing to notice, whenever you are using the hreflang tags, you need to use them for every single URL on your website. So this is what our main page would look like. But for example, if we are on a uh, detail page and we are on a specific blog page, for example, uh, something like, mm, yeah, or maybe maybe this as an example, our about us page, 
the href lang text would look like this. So you would have the about us here, the de slash über uns, and you are always referencing the right, right website URLs here. Also, as you can see here, we have a multi-language sitemap. So whenever you are using multi-language URLs, multi-language content, make sure to include all of the URLs to your sitemap to give Google the structure that your website is looking like and make their life way, way easier. I hope you liked the video. If you need some support in terms of graphic design or bringing your website to the next level, make sure to check out Magia. We are a creative partner for over 100 top companies out there. And if you would like to see more content about marketing design, make sure to subscribe to the channel below. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.